coming up next on QNS Vlogs. I decided to get some sushi to snack on in the room last night and it was good it was fresh I got the shrimp tempura and it was just really good Q opted and I did too to get a ramen bowl which was really good it was nice hot and fresh as well I fill me up I needed some more food so I decided to sneak down before Quint woke up and I just got me a bagel with some salmon early morning snack a pre breakfast breakfast if you will Hey everybody, we are here in the galley. Yeah. Great final day. We're gonna go over to Bimini, but at first we're gonna get into these burgers here. Okay. And we we're gonna let you know what it tastes like. Right? We haven't tried one all the time we said. No, so we have not. Say that's right. Yeah, we're gonna try these burgers and let you know what it tastes like. So here is the burger. We just got a classic regular burger with cheese and of course Q went over and got at the all day breakfast and got us some bacon to put on top. Yes. And the bacon has been placed on the burger, y'all. So Q and I are here in Bimini, and the ship is behind us. And we're gonna go over to the beach club and see what we can get into, y'all. Let's go. So Bimini offers a free shuttle to take you over to Bimini Beach, as well as the Hilton Hotel, which has a casino, a shopping area, and also some other beaches. We just took the shuttle. It was a nice ride over. You get to see some of the private residences that are there. And you can also rent a golf cart for an additional fee if you wish to explore the island further. And here we are arriving at Bimini Beach. Here's the map to tell you where everything is laid out. It's a nice beach, it has two big pools, it has the ocean there, plenty of space. The music was pumping. It's a really nice afternoon. The weather held up for us. They have a VIP area if you're VIP. You can go over under a covered awning and eat. Here's the food station here for you to get your food. Here's the menu items of the food. So I went over, got some food. I just got some coconut corn on a cob, two pieces of rum cake, and some baked red snapper. And I'm gonna taste this and let you know this back. Okay, and the food is, you know, it's complimentary here. So I tried the fish and it was good. Um, could have been, a, it could have been more warm. It's a lot of flies and stuff. Yeah, she poured more over So I had to take a napkin and put it over my food. I suggest you do the same thing. When they give it to you, take one of them napkins and put it over your food. The flies is out here. And don't bring them over here to your man. <laughs> they had corn on the cob. They had like coconut. And that was good. I like that. It was real. Um, they had a rum cake. Mm, it was okay. I guess it was, excuse me, y'all, nice and moist. And then they had a tropical salad, you know, that was good. But I might just suggest that you cover your food, get your food covered, because them flies is vicious over here. And you don't want flies on your food, honey, because I was waiting for one to touch something in my head, because I was not going to. Yeah, I'll be touching them over there. Shut up, no, you didn't. So there were plenty of lounging spaces. You just have to get over there early to get a good spot. And in addition to the flies, they had these little creatures. So I had my feet up and I was swapping. It was not a good look for me, y'all. Blue drinks at the bar. Tiki inspired. So cute. I got a, I think a passion kiss. Watch your receipts. They charged me for a picture and I had to get that straightened out. All right. What you, you got a Long Island. How's that? Yeah. Too much soda in it. Mm -hmm. So overall, a nice, cool vibe over at Bimini Beach Club. So Q and I enjoyed watching the wake of the ship as it left Bimini. And also, don't forget to take a decent picture on this triple net. But girls, be careful if you don't have a bathing suit on, if you just have a dress on or whatever, because it's pervs on the day we saw them. Mm -hmm. 
So we decided to get some takeaway items. I got the charcuterie box. We got a, a Caesar salad and also a roasted chicken salad, but I'm gonna mix my Caesar with my roasted chicken salad with Caesar dressing. Also, um, with our Sea Rover perks, we could get um, two pressed items, uh, one eco clean item, and a bag of laundry, complimentary. So we decided to get the bag of laundry and it's been delivered back to our room as well. Diversion is the Scarlet Ladies Italian Inspired Restaurant. And here's the menu items. We decided to start off with calamari, which was a bit cold, but it wasn't chewy. And some mini meatballs. They were good with that mozzarella on top. And I washed it down with a mojito, which was really good and refreshing. The steak was a bit cold, but it was okay. And we had that pasta that's made on the ship that was absolutely wonderful. So we found out about Honor Rocks on our last day, y'all. Yes, a whiskey bar that sold straight shots of all the kind of whiskeys a girl could ever want. You know, I do love my brown liquor. And I'm here to tell you they had a really great selection. But they also had wine if you were into wine. And they also had cocktails if you were into cocktails. As well as beer. But we had this bar tab to use, y'all. So we was hitting those shots like it was nobody's business on our last night. And this is our way that we ended our voyage on Scarlet Lady. So this is our last evening, and here's to a interesting trip, right there. Yep. Oof. Oof.